Hey guys, Stephen here. In the last video, we talked about what is the greatest calling of the Christian husband and father, and that's to be the spiritual leader of the home and to disciple your family on a regular basis. The hard part of that is getting started. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the three key elements of daily family worship. Uh, today, I'm also gonna take you up to the hill. My neighbor pointed out another area where it's easier to access the bamboo. And the last time it was hot, humid, and there were mosquitoes aplenty. So hopefully today it's a little bit easier as I try to gather some bamboo. So join me for this adventure and let's get going. Go over there. All right, now that we've harvested the bamboo, we're going to cut off the limbs because we don't need those and it's just extra weight and friction as we're taking it down to the house. So let's go ahead and cut this stuff up. All right, so what are the three elements of family worship? The first one is prayer. The Bible says that we are supposed to pray without ceasing. That's in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. 
I like how John Piper describes prayer like a, a wartime walkie-talkie. It should be done in light of our overall mission in life, that his name be glorified and that we might be, that we might live for fruitful ministry. So I like that. This imagery is helpful because it reminds us that we are in a war and our children someday will leave our home and enter the, the world and we need to train them how to use their walkie-talkies well. I think an important part of prayer as a family is to help train the kids to pray, especially when they're younger and they don't know how to do it. You can model it for them. The second element of family worship is reading the Bible. The sad thing is in the Christian church, a lot of Bible reading is done mostly at church and hardly ever in the home besides personal devotions. But if we want to equip our children for productive, fruitful lives, for effective lives in the kingdom of God. We've got to train them how to apply God's word to every area of their life. And so what better way to do that than to read the Bible at home as a family on a daily basis. The Bible is our standard. It is a light, a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. God's word is like a two-edged sword. 2 Timothy 3.16 says that all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness that the man of God may be competent or complete, equipped for every good work. I love that verse. So. And an important part of this, I think, is having, you know, enlisting the men as the spiritual leaders of the home, for them to take the initiative and say, okay, as for, as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord, and we're going to read the Bible on a daily basis. That is powerful. There are two steps to make once you've decided to read the Bible to your family. Number one, you've got to decide how you're going to go through the Bible. I believe in the saying that says, a whole Bible makes a whole Christian. So there are some Bible reading plans where it starts from Genesis and just goes straight through Revelation. And other ones have a mixture, maybe uh, a portion of the Old Testament and followed by a portion from the New Testament. So you gotta really decide uh, what you think is the best for your family. Um, in my family, we just read from Genesis to Revelation. That just makes it simpler for us. But you can feel free to do uh, Old Testament, New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament. But just to be consistent and not skip any parts, even the parts that you think are more difficult. Um, you don't have to understand it all. It's just important that our kids hear the whole Bible. So the second part of reading the Bible to your family, the second decision you have to make is at what speed, at what pace you're going to go through the Bible. And that's really going to depend on the season of your life, the age of your children, uh, your own family's circumstances, and everybody's different. As a family, you're probably not going to be reading through the Bible once a year. That's a pretty heavy load. So I recommend stretching it out over the course of several years. And two things to remember, every family is gonna be different. So don't feel like you have to have it perfect at the beginning um, and be open to, to change, be flexible. And if you see that your family is dozing off because the scriptures that you're reading are too long or uh, there's not enough discussion, um, go ahead and make adjustments to that. So as you're reading the Bible to your family on a daily basis, just make sure that you allow for questions and a time of discussion. Don't just read through it and just stop and then move on. It's really important that we discuss these things with our children, with our wives. It's really gonna stick a lot deeper and it's gonna be more concrete. Um, we're gonna remember the words a lot more. So. And in preparation for a family worship, go ahead and read the portion that you plan on reading to your family. And you can do that in your own devotions before the family wakes up. Um, so skim over it ahead of time. And then if you want to, you can always look at a Bible, you can look through a Bible commentary or a Bible dictionary to get more details and background on the portion that you're reading. So that way your family is getting more out of the Bible reading. So those are just some tips for preparation. One of the best tips and tricks, put the Bible close to where you do the family devotions. Uh, but just a final reminder about the preparations never ever make the excuse that because you haven't prepared for the daily family worship that you're not going to do it. 
And the third part of daily family devotions is singing songs to God. In Psalm 96, 2, it says, Sing to the Lord, bless his name, tell of his salvation from day to day. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and sing praises to your name, O Most High. That's Psalm 92, 1. So we sing songs at church. We should do it at home. Think of a troop a soldiers out on their morning run. What are they doing? They're singing songs. In the same way, we Christians, we have our marching songs, and those are worship songs, those are hymns, those are the psalms. And as we sing those to God, it lifts the soul. It gives us encouragement, peace, keeps us focused and alert, and gives us strength to persevere in hard time. So let's fill our homes with joyful singing every day. Try to make it enjoyable for everyone. You can ask different family members, if they have songs that they like to sing, try to keep it short and sweet. You know, if you're singing older songs and you've got five stanzas, five verses, I don't recommend you singing all five verses. The important thing is to start with what you've got. So if all you've got is, Jesus loves me, this I know, or amazing grace, then just start with that. So if there are family members uh, that can play an instrument, like piano or a guitar, um, go ahead and encourage that in your family worship. Just be careful not to turn it into a jam session or um, just a time to have solos. Um, the focus is on God and not on man. So uh, maybe if no one can play an instrument in your family but you still like to sing along with music, uh, listening to a CD or an MP3 um, is a great idea as well. So. And eventually it'd be nice if you could buy a hymnal or some song books uh, for your family so that way you have stuff ready and on hand every time you do family worship. And it's a really good idea if you could eventually make your own family song book, your own family hymnal. So that about wraps it up for today. Uh, I just want to remind you, in conclusion, the three main elements of family worship are prayer, reading God's Word, and singing songs. Start today. And that might mean before you go to bed, it might mean after dinner. Some of you guys get home from work and you're dead tired, that's fine. Just find a good time when you do have energy. And if that's in the morning around the breakfast table, then do that before everybody heads off to school and to work. Open up the words of God and read, sing a couple songs and pray together as a family. It will change your family like nothing else, I guarantee it. So here's the challenge. I want you to start today. Pick a time, even if it's five minutes and tell your family today. Starting today, we're gonna do something new in the family. As the spiritual head of our family, I have made a decision that we're going to do this on a daily basis. We might forget sometimes, but we're going to try to be consistent. And if we forget or if we miss a couple days, that's okay. We're going to keep on going because this is what God has called us to do. This is the Christian life, and it's built on a foundation of coming before the Lord daily, depending on Him, reading His Word, praising Him, and praying. Thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate it. If you want those extra resources like the Bible reading plans and some music that you can use in your family worship, go ahead and check out my website. I have a link down in the description area below. I'm Stephen, your brother in the journey. Keep fighting the good fight of faith, and we'll see you guys next time.